Okay, now what, what, earlier I pulled too much paint on this and uh, it pulled, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return to this and I can sand this down. It's already dry, so I'm just gonna lightly sand this so that I get any of the higher edges off. Because if you leave this alone and you paint directly over this, you can have uh, different levels of paint on there and you'll see high, a higher bump along the edges where you have too much paint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and s s sand as much as uh, possible. And this, I'm just using a very high grit sanding pad. Uh, that's done, I could go in and I could just go ahead and start painting this part. Light misting. And then go in heavier. Once you see, once you see that the surface gets a little on the wet look, move to another side of the, of the part. And then continue cycling through the through the piece, getting everything primed properly. Now you can notice that this piece or this this side was originally had too much pooling. Now if I move this up and down a little bit, you can still see that I have a little bit of that edge there. So what I might end up doing is I'm just gonna have to buff that out again and just reprime it. So this is another example of you know making sure that your surface is primed or uh, properly prepared before you start paint, spraying paint because uh, when you paint this on it's gonna be very very light layers even if you're using spray cans you know if I spray if I use a spray can the same techniques as uh, using the airbrush except the airbrush is a little bit more finer and you have a little bit more control with the airbrush so I'm just gonna let this dry I'm probably gonna go back and revisit this area right here now 